the human brain adapts, adjusts, and so on. So it's that's not, not that plastic, if you're totally frank. So there, there's a firm structure, but there nevertheless, is. there's some plasticity and the open question is, sort of if I could ask a broad question is how much that plasticity can be utilized. Sort of on the human side, there's some plasticity in the human brain. And on the machine side, we have our neural networks, machine learning, artificial intelligence, it's able to adjust and figure out signals. So there's a mysterious language that we don't perfectly understand that's within the human brain. And then we're trying to understand that language to communicate both directions. So the brain is adjusting a little bit. We don't know how much. And the machine is adjusting. Where do you see, as they try to sort of reach together, almost like with an alien species, try to find a protocol, a communication protocol that works, where do you see the biggest the, the biggest benefit arriving from on the machine side or the human side? Do you see both of them working together? I think the machine side is far more malleable than the biological side by, by a huge amount. So it will be the, the machine that adapts to the brain. That's the only thing that's possible.